Here's another part of our conversation with the great Felix Cavallari. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. There were a lot of hits, like the number one smash hit single, Good Lovin' in 1966, followed by You Better Run. In 67, I've Been Lonely Too Long. That reached number 16. Groovin', their big number one hit. That was in the summer of love, including A Girl Like You. In late summer, it was How Can I Be Sure? A big one that hit number four. And there were more. A Beautiful Morning in 1968. And People Got to Be Free. Their last number one hit that same year, 68. I've been lonely too long. Uh, right. That's one of my, that's, I just, I, I love oh, that. Oh, cool. I just love that song. No, that's good. I appreciate that. That's nice. Because that was, as I say, the beginning of that relationship. And, uh, you know, it was really a heartfelt song in that, you know, okay, it's time to not be lonely, you know. And uh, it, it really helped us. See, because what, what happened basically is, is we, 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 we did our first record which was, uh, we didn't write, it was called, uh, it was called, uh, I ain't going to eat out my heart anymore. And it was a, a hit, but it wasn't a big hit. The next record was Good Love It, which was a number one smash. We really weren't ready, you know, for that to happen. You know what I mean? Like, uh, of course you take it, but now we want to write our own music. Well, wait, wait, we didn't have any proving ground yet. We didn't have any, you know, trial trial runs we didn't have any but had you written before you, you, you yeah we'd written before but not in front of the public not in front of the the beatles and stones audiences and all those people's audiences no we wrote but we wrote for felix you know we didn't write for the world it's tough following a number one record man it's tough so by the time we got to um well you better run come on up and then was uh i've been lonely too long oh thank god people like that man because at that point in time, the record company could have pulled a plug and said, OK, no more writing. You guys got to go out now to get your songs, you know. And so that was a really big moment for us. Let me tell you, you know, having a guru and, and being connected in that way. Uh, again, like when I've been lonely too long, I think about that song and I'm going, you're talking from the heart, you know. Oh, yeah. Don't you find songs like when you guys were reading your songs, some of them might be like, yeah, yeah, yeah nice 60s, simple song. But there's an energy to that stuff, man. Yeah. You know, people feel that. They connect not only with the words, but I, I remember that the radio shows that I did where I really believed in the music did the best. Oh, well, cool. Yeah. I felt it. I uh, felt it. You know, it, it, it's 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 really an interesting subject that, you know, like if you if, if ever really want to explore the creative process, you're going to end up at the same place that we started this conversation, you know? It's the same thing. It's coming from the same place. It's coming through. It's like a, it's like a sink. It's like a connection, mm -hmm. which is what yoga means. It's a connection. You open up that connection, a lot of things can come in. And when they come in, and then you write them, and then they go out, somebody out there says, I want to receive this. And they get it. You know, like, for example, when I toured Japan, I'm not sure they understand all the words, but they know exactly what we're talking about. You know, that's the magic of music. See, mu music is probably the strongest really con communicating force, you know, on earth. I, I really believe that. I mean, you know, you can, you can, you know, they did experiments. They, 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 they can make plants grow. They can make plants die with, with kind of, but there's no doubt about it, that that connection comes from and goes out and is received now of course you know today that's hard to really understand because some of these people are connected to some really strange sources <laughs> we'll have more from felix cavallari coming up in a few days make sure you comment on our video subscribe to our channel and share our videos you want to donate to the channel at the very top of the description there's a link where you can do that or you can buy a t-shirt that helps the channel as well we have t-shirts for rocky street music rocky street book and Rock History Canada. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.